Hello! In this video, we are going to see how to create a period filter so then we can follow the monthly data of a certain process in a process mine application. So, let's go! And here we go! Here we are at the process mining screen with our graph and filter created in the last video. The first thing we need to do here is to create a function that will get the date and time that each case ended. This function will take each case individually, sort all events that happen within that case, and take the date and time of the last event end. So, let's create it! Great! Now we can create our period filter. Let's go! Now let's choose the month of June of 2016. Ok, now I'm going to create a new dashboard so it doesn't interfere with the others created previously. Let's go! And now we can add our filters. And we can see the difference between the months. And that's it! In the next video, we will see how to create metrics to analyze the percentage of case and the case amount for each case type, case owner, supplier and supplier type. I hope it was useful! Please subscribe, like and share the video! See you around! Bye bye!